All right, so uh, I'm just going to show you how to set up um, a VPN on your OSMC Raspberry Pi computer. Um, I use private internet access as my VPN, and I prefer to run everything through it on, on the setup. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your app get is up to date by running the apt get update command. All right, so that took a little while, and maybe uh, two minutes, and now it's done. So now um, I'm going to have it install um, OpenVPN. So I type sudo apt get install OpenVPN. And again, this is going to take a minute when you're prompted to say yes. All right, when it's done, um, we're going to make a directory, so um, we're going to keep all our OpenVPN stuff in this uh, directory. So I'm just making a directory called OpenVPN, and go into that directory, and then we're going to download all of the scripts, all the um, not the scripts, but the uh, config files from OpenVPN. So I'm just going to use the wget command to do that and type in the URL to all the scripts, all the configurator files, and it'll download, and it's done. I'm going to unzip it. Oh, I don't have the unzip command, so I better install that. sudo app get install unzip. Done. Okay. So now I should be able to unzip it. Unzip. Oh, I spelled it wrong up there. Okay. There we go. So I've unpacked all of the different config files into my OpenVPN folder. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a password file in here. So I'm going to use the text editor nano to make a file called pass.txt. And in here, I'm just going to create two lines, one with my username and one with my password. So you would have received those from private internet access, so just look them up and put them in this file. And then save it. Uh, push Control X to save. Hit Yes and then hit Enter to exit. Just to check to make sure it worked. There it is. So Control X to exit. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of the config files from here, and we're going to um, we're going to rename it to a conf file. So um, I'm going to use the US East one here. So I'm going to say move the US East file. And we're just going to call it vpn.conf. And now we're going to edit that file. So I'm going to say nano vpn.conf. And we're going to change a couple things in here. So here, um, it's looking for the password. So we're going to change that to the path to the password file we just created. thing we're going to do is tell it where these files are here. So this one, this CLR verify, we're going to change that. Um, right here we're just going to add the full path in front of it. It's in the same folder that we just uh, unzipped. And the same thing here, the CA certificate. We're going to put home slash oops home slash osmc slash open vpn in front of that as well and that is it we're going to save this save changes yep all 
I'm going to copy this file to the etc. open VPN folder, I think. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to copy, sorry. Um, comp, no, what is it called? VPN.comp. I'm going to copy that to this folder. Well, we're going to use the sudo command because it's a protected folder. All right. Let's make sure it worked. Yeah, there it is. Okay, perfect. All right, what are we going to do next? All right, so we're going to enable the VP, Open VPN service with that command. So here we go. And lastly, we're going to start Open VPN. This will also make it start every reboot. So that's good. That's what you want. Now, uh, assuming you knew your previous IP address, you can check your new IP address with this command here, curl, and then http colon slash slash check IP dot DNS, dime DNS dot org, push enter. So we can see it's showing the PIA IP address. And so we'll reboot it to make sure it's persistent after the reboot. All right, so I reboot. And let's see if it worked. And it's worked, so the IP address is what I'm getting from private internet access, so it's good.